Hello and welcome to Gaming Chronicle Review. Today we'll be taking a look at a budget gaming mouse, more specifically the Red Dragon Cobra or Red Dragon or whatever you want to read it that way. So why did I decide to go on this little budget gaming mouse? It's pretty simple. I needed a replacement and this was lying around. It cost me around 20 bucks if I recall. 30. Um, so yeah, I decided to use it for a couple of months, see how it fared. Um, so this is going to be more of an opinion piece, not necessarily like an in-depth review with all the sensor specs and all that. It's more something that I tried for a couple of uh, uh, months and decided to do a little video on. So if any of you are shopping around and see this mouse on the market, and if it's not too expensive, well, you can pull, probably pull the trigger on it. Alright, now let's take a look at this little bad boy here. Um, for starters, on the side we have two thumb uh, buttons. Uh, they're addressable, so you're going to be able to uh, pretty much pinpoint, pin them to whatever you want. Uh, the three top bu buttons here are, the first two are going to be for the DPI, and the last one is for the RGB. You have different little modes you can enable. So for those who really want to have that little extra bling, well, it comes pretty well equipped on that front. Uh, the scroll wheel feels okay. And uh, the two switches on top are supposedly Omron. Um, they're not gonna be the best clicky feeling of the bunch, but they do a pretty good job. Um, now for the build quality, uh, I've have to say for something that's about 20 bucks 30 bucks depending on wh where you get it it's pretty decent i mean it's not gonna be the best thing out there the site there which is yeah mostly aesthetic uh the big caveat i have with this mouse like the big thing that really drives me out the wall it's the cord it's gonna be braided and it's pretty solid and that's where the problem lies it's very very solid i mean you need a bungee cord for this because you leave it alone it's going to just wobble around so all in all it's a pretty good mouse for the for the price again it's something that's pretty hard to beat now on to the software um this is something that has been a little bit troubling to me uh the software is clunky and not just a bit, I mean, even if you save your profiles, it won't always stick. Um, you can play around with the, the polling rate, uh, the DPI, you can adjust it depending on what uh, settings you want. You have the light, the, the, the RGB that you can control, but again, it's not something that's going to stick directly onto the, the, the mouse itself. So if you can avoid using this, um, I kind of suggest you don't. Uh, you can play around with it if you manage to get it working. Well, good for you. For me, it was a pretty big hassle, so it's not something that I really want to emphasize too much about purchasing this mouse. Uh, you're probably better off just using the controls that are already baked, baked in. Well, this is going to cover it for the Red Dragon uh, Cobra. Uh, again, it's a solid little mouse. Uh, for the price you're paying, I think it's punching a little bit above its weight. Um, you should probably find it around 20 to 30 bucks online, uh, depending on where you shop and depending on what part of the globe you are in. Uh, like I said, you should probably stay away from the software because I think it's pretty clunky. It doesn't really serve any purpose instead of just tooling around. Um, all in all, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe and see you next time.